Who was the first mathematician and why is there a little bit of controversy surrounding this? Well that's what we're going to cover today. Join me on this journey as we explore the history of mathematics in this series by Shrouded Science. Let's travel back in time to the classical era, around 600 BC. During this time, the subject of mathematics was not well defined. In fact, during this era, most mathematicians were also scientists and philosophers. This makes sense since they would have to develop novel ideas with little pre-existing subject matter. It is precisely in this era we find influential figures such as Pythagoras, Euclid and Zeno. But we're not here to talk about them. We're here to focus on one figure in particular, Thales of Miletus, widely believed to be the first Greek philosopher, scientist and mathematician. His primary occupation was as an engineer. No doubt his profession motivated much of his discoveries. So what did he do that was so special that crowned him as the first mathematician in history? Well, he's considered to be the first person in the Western world to have applied logical reasoning to geometry. And this approach is precisely what defined him as the first mathematician. His findings were presented in a familiar form, something we now call theorems. These are general propositions, not self-evident, but proved by a chain of reasoning. Or simply put, a theorem is a truth established by the means of a series of previously accepted truths. His most notable mathematical finding is in the field of geometry. The aptly named Thales theorem defines a circle theorem. Here, if two lines are drawn from the diameter of a circle and meet at some point B on the circle's circumference, then these two lines meet at a right angle. This is an amazing achievement, as it allows you to draw a right angle triangle with just a piece of string and some nails. However, what set him apart from the discoveries of previous civilizations like those in Egypt is the rigour he applied. Thales is recognised for breaking the use of mythology to explain the world, instead explaining natural objects and phenomena by offering naturalistic theories and hypotheses. Either Thales did not document his work, or they were lost to time, as we do not have any of his texts preserved to this day. However, through his teachings he was able to pass on his knowledge and his name was able to withstand the test of time. In fact, he taught many pupils as part of the Mylian school and he was the teacher of Anaximander, who was argued to have Pythagoras as one of his pupils. Hieronymus, who was a student of Aristotle, says Thales even succeeded in measuring the pyramids by observing the length of the shadow at the moment when our shadow is equal to our own height. Other notable philosophers, mathematicians such as Euclid, Proclus and Plato have written praise for Thales and this epitomises his influence and legacy. So far I've led you down the impression that Thales is the first mathematician, however some historians argue that this is just by default. Whilst we do not have writings that are directly attributable to figures before Thales, it is more than likely there were mathematicians before him, we just lost them to time. In fact, in a previous video I stated that tablets and papyri demonstrated the use of geometry in the ancient Mesopotamian and Egyptian civilizations. However, this knowledge was not preserved well, with many papyri being discovered thousands of years later. This re-emergence of knowledge is a reoccurring theme, as another pivotal early mathematician Pythagoras has demonstrated findings that were similar to those seen in ancient clay tablets. This does not diminish the findings of these individuals, as the rigour and the legacy of their teachings greatly influenced the development of civilizations to come. Thales in particular still remains as the first known person to whom a mathematical discovery has been attributed to, and this justly crowns him as the first known mathematician. Figures such as Thales, Pythagoras and Euclid are instrumental to mathematics, and their principles of study still shapes the way we apply scientific methods. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to join me next time and follow the evolution of mathematics through time, and thanks for watching.